Fabio. What's up guys, Fabio here once again, and um, before I shoot the Return of the Jedi review, um, I actually wanted to do this uh, today. Um, I actually got two, three, five packages in the mail today. I think this is the most I've ever got packages, most time, most ever. Um, as you can see, yeah, the five packages. Um, I've just been going crazy lately. Um, I did get my tax return. I got a pretty good amount. Um, so I actually just went crazy and, and kind of splurged a little bit and actually just won something on eBay that I've been wanting for a long time um, that I'll be, that'll be coming probably next week. Um, but yeah, I've never gotten this many packages in the mail. Uh, so I just wanted to do something different today, do a little unpackaging video. This is all stuff I bought from eBay. Um, none of this stuff has been sent to me from you guys. Please do not send me anything. <laughs> Please do not spend money on me. I'm not that important. I'm just a regular guy who has a video camera. I'm not a celebrity. <laughs> Please do not send me stuff. If you do, I'll, you know, whatever. But please don't. <laughs> so, actually, I guess these are DVDs. Because they put them, they, you know, put rubber band around them. So let's open this one first. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Eh. Oh, I have a knife here. That's a knife. I know the blade ain't that big, but I could kill somebody with it probably. So back off! <laughs> oh! Oh yeah. What is this, a condom? <laughs> I don't know what that is. What is this? Uh, leave feedback. Well, I always leave feedback. Cool. Disc has no scratches on it. Cool, first one I opened up was the best of Beavis and Butthead, Hard Cash. This one um, is from the Time Life Best of series, which, that's the insert, which uh, some of the other ones I got upstairs, I just haven't, they'll be in the next update, and I'll show this stuff in the next update too. Um, but Time Life in 2002 did uh, six of these DVDs, the best of Beavis and Butthead. Uh, basically, all they did was re-release the old VHS tapes onto DVD. This one, Hard Cash, is the rarest of the ones. This was the last one to come out, um, as was the Hard Cash VHS tape. And it also has music videos. This is the only home video, v you know, the VHS tapes that come out that had music videos on it. The rest did not. It wasn't until the Mike Judge collections came out that it had music videos, but those are all edited. But these are the uncut episodes, um, unlike the DVDs, the Mike Judge DVDs. This one has Hard Cell, uh, Temporary Insanity, 
uh, Beverly Butt Billies, Green Thumbs, Whiplash, Inventors, Yard Sale, and Babysitting. And it says four music videos, but it doesn't say which ones. But yeah, um, this one is really rare. I never see the VHS tape or this DVD on eBay. Finally saw it. I knew I had to grab it. So that's hard cash. And I know I said it before, when I do get to the Beavis and Butthead reviews, this is another Beavis and Butthead one, um, I will do a, uh, a video on the, the home video releases and, and how they fucked up the, uh, the Mike Judge DVDs and everything. Ah. <laughs> Alright, this one It's got some sticker residue I could probably get that all now It's got some fingerprints on the DVD But I can clean it um, This one is the best of Beavis and Butthead Work Sucks, and The Final Judgment. I have both of these on VHS. I have both the VHS tapes. And The Final Judgment actually came out on DVD um, from Sony, who did the VHS tapes in like 97. It was one of the first DVDs to come out. It's actually like a laser disc because it has no menu. Um, it just plays through and then it stops. But, um, you know, this one, you know, this these got re-released. Like I said, I have both of these on VHS. A uh, Hard Catch, I do not have on VHS. But uh, I think Work Sucks was actually the first Beavis and Butthead VHS I got. There's the insert and the back. Um, I remember getting that at Blockbuster when they were getting rid of their VHS tapes. But for some reason, Beavis and Butthead tapes are hard to find. I have no idea. I guess people still want them because the DVDs are edited. Well, not these, but the Mike Judge DVDs, the ones that are easier to get. Because these are still hard to get. Um, this for Work Sucks... The episodes are Burger World, Customer Suck, The Butthead Experience, Be All You Can Be, Cleaning House, Sperm Bank, Blackout, and Closing Time. And the Final Judgments episodes are No Laughing, Scared Straight, They're Coming to Take Me Away, <laughs> uh, Manners Suck, Liar Liar, The Great Cornholio, and The Final Judgment. Um, yeah, these, like, you can only get through Time Life's website. And I remember um, these actually came out when MTV finally started showing reruns on MTV2 and everything. Um, you know, because when MTV changed formats in like 98, 99, they got rid of Beavis and Butthead for good reruns wise. And it pissed a lot of people off actually. Um, I remember watching them on Comedy Central a little bit. They had, I remember watching the Halloween episode on Comedy Central and it was the first time I ever saw that episode. Um, then MTV2 started showing the reruns, and that's when I started getting more into the show. Because when I was younger, my mom wouldn't let me watch it, so I had to sneak by and watch it. But by that time, 2002, my mom just didn't care. But I remember, I remember watching the commercials for these on Time Life. They would come on at like you know, at midnight and stuff with the girls going wild commercials. But I always wanted to get these, and then you know they faded out and everything. But. Um, yeah, these are, are still hard to find, so I got these two now, and I have three others upstairs, so that's three, five, so I need one more, it's coming in the mail, and then I'll have all six, because I did six of them, so that's those two. Now we're going to open this one. Like I said, with the when I get into the Beavis and Butthead reviews, which I would really like to review all that stuff. Um, you know, I would like to do a video about, you know, why they, you know, which releases to get and everything. new it is cool 
First laser disc I got is 10 to Midnight with Charles Bronson. Uh, brand new. I didn't think this was brand new. Um, this guy had a bunch of laser discs that I kept bidding back and forth with. Cheap laser discs. And I kept losing. This was the only one that I won. But I love 10 to Midnight. Love that that cover art. Uh, I didn't know this was brand new. That's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I love this movie. Got it really cheap. Um, yeah, I love 10 to Midnight. There you go. Classic Bronson. <laughs> and this one, they, I don't know what this one is. I don't know. They packed it pretty good. Ah! Dust and shit be flying in my eye. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh my god. Another laser disc. See, I hate when they. Like, sometimes when I buy laser discs, they take the laser disc out, like add, out of the packaging. I don't like when they do that. That's just my preference. Couple of scratches, fingerprints, stuff that can easily be taken care of. Oh, okay. All right, I got Beavis and Butthead, the Essential Collection on Laserdisc. This was the only Laserdisc release of the cartoon. It comes with on side one, it's the Work Sucks VHS, which I have, and side two is There Goes the Neighborhood VHS, which I, I don't have that one yet. Um, and there's only like three VHS tapes I need to be this and butthead. But cool, so I got this um, CLV extended play format. Yeah, cool. So I have the laser disc of it, and I got some of the DVDs. Yeah. And now the last package, this is pretty big. I'm not sure how to open this one. Oh, that hurt. Just hit myself in the schnoz with the box. It's a box within a box. <laughs> Fox in socks with box. Or no, is it Fox Inbox with Sock? I fucked it up. <laughs> the hell? Shit, I didn't know it was this big. Oh my god, dude. I didn't know it was this huge. Wow. Turtle power to go. This opens up. Okay. Um, hi. Okay, so you saw a jump cut. Uh, my brother had come in and he took the car today. So um, I had to take him to track practice because he does track. And I had to go out and get my paycheck. And I actually went out and bought a bunch of VHS tapes, which I won't show in here. I'll put it in the next update. But 
Um, I did kind of open this up a little bit. Uh, this is actually, you know, it says like turtle power to go. Um, here it says hot, hot, hot. Um, turtle power to go, hot, hot, hot. Turtle power to go. This is actually um, a promotional box that they sent to um, comic book stores, video stores for the Ninja Turtles movie. So you open it up and you get a marketing presentation tape. Um, it's not the movie, it's just, uh, I haven't watched it yet. But um, it's probably just promotional stuff. Uh, this was brand new. Over $125 million at the box office makes the Turtles movie this year's number one Christmas gift choice. Yeah, pre-order date, you know, street date, all that kind of stuff. Um, I just cut the, uh, it was still sealed, so I cut the bottom of the box open to uh, let the tape slide out easier. And there's that. It's probably only about 10 minutes. It's just probably marketing stuff. But, um, there's a lot of stuff in here. Whoops, knocked over my gobstoppers. That ain't good. Uh, this is... I actually put it down so I can show you. <clears throat> But that is a poster for the movie when it came out on VHS. I'll try to back up here. So I didn't know it had that in there. That's awesome. I'm definitely going to try and get that framed. Definitely. Because that's awesome. So that was def. I, I paid a lot of money for this set. <laughs> I'm not going to say how much, but... And then this is another poster. This is one that you just like hang. Hope you can see all that. Oops, did I screw this? Yeah. And then you get this uh, more Turtle Power to Go pamphlet. And it just has information about the animated videos. Hope you can see all that. This is a, another pamphlet. Lean green and on your screen. And this S in screen's got a dollar sign and that's the back. This opens up. That's pretty cool because it like pops up like that. You can probably see it a little bit better like that. Just talking about like how much movie the money or how much yeah how much movie the money made how much money the movie made just advertising stuff you know more advertising stuff this is just like a little like a sales sheet I guess and then there's a bunch of these they're like radio spots there's like four of these radio spots or those like what they would say and then this is like a uh, just a um, just a thing for distributors and then this is just like a pamphlet, uh, just like a promotional thing. It just tells you like everything about the promotional stuff of the movie and just facts and stuff like that. Yeah, just different kind of stuff. But yeah, this is, is awesome. Um, you know, like I said, this is probably just promotional stuff. But it's still cool. Like, that kind of stuff you do not see anymore. They do not do that, you know, for DVDs. They don't do big promotional boxes like this and all that kind of stuff anymore. So that's another beauty part about VHS. If you look hard enough, you can find great stuff like this. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome mail day. 
Uh, I did not expect to get all these packages in the mail today. Um, just a great, great day. Um, and I cannot wait to, I'm definitely going to get that poster frame because it's in pristine condition. Um, cannot wait. Oh my God, man. Amazing, amazing mail day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little unpackaging video. Like I said, it's just stuff that I got from eBay. Nobody sent me anything. Just wanted to do something different. And uh, stay tuned because the next video is going to be the Return of the Jedi review. So I will see you guys on the flip side. Later.